Ready, hello, welcome to tag day four. We are still working on 7-4-D, the percent problems, specifically with percent increase or decrease. And we're gonna engage in a specific practice of a visual method for solving these percent change problems, and that's a double number line. So you do not have to use this method on star. There are plenty of other methods, such as a proportion or even a table. However, today you will be asked to use this method so that you can have it in your toolkit during star because it's super, super useful. So let's look at this problem together. The price of a video game was reduced from $60 to $45. By what percentage was the price of the video game reduced? So I'm going to first model the thinking required to solve this problem with a double number line. So first, I need to get a few pieces of information from the problem, so I'm going to read one more time in our read, draw, write strategy. Let's think about what is the original amount, Let's think about what is the amount of change and kind of what's going on as we purchase this item. So the price of a video game was reduced, that's a key vocabulary word, from $60 to $45. The question wants to know by what percentage was the price of the video game reduced? So we are looking for a percentage here. So I'm just making some annotations to myself. So first, what is the original amount here? Well, it would be the original price of the game, which was $60. So let's label that as the original. And what is the amount of change? So if we are going from 60 to 45, I know that it's decreasing by a certain amount of money. So if I subtract, I see that it is decreasing by $15. That is the amount that it was reduced or changed. And so the new amount then is $45, right? That's the new sale price. So let's begin making our diagram for our draw portion of read, draw, write. So I have one number line. It actually doesn't need to be that long, but it just looks so pretty that way. So one line I will label um, the percent, and then the other I will label the amount that we're talking about, which is dollars. And so I know that our percentages always go from zero to 100%. Always, always, the percentages are always out of 100%. And then for dollars, I know that it is either zero dollars or all the way to $60, right? That is the total amount of this TV. So zero to $60. So if I am looking at the original amount being the 100% or representing the 100% of the cost, then it needs to be under 100% on the double number line. So now I need to indicate the change and new price on the diagram. So I need to put $45 on this chart to show the new price. So I know that the $45 would be less than 60, so let's put it here. But how could I partition my line in a way that makes sense? Or in other words, how could I break up my number line in order to find a way that makes sense? So I know that this piece right here, let me use my highlighter, is reducing by $15, right? It went from 60 to 45 reducing by $15. So how many groups of 15 fit into 60, right? So if this chunk represents 15 in yellow, I wanna see how many chunks of 15 I can put into 60. I'm gonna break it up into 15 pieces, or in other words, divide, and I know 15 goes into 60 four times, which means I can break up this number line into four pieces. So from zero to 15, oops, actually let's try and make this a little more proportional. So this is $30 and this is $15. So zero to 15 plus another 15 is 30 plus another 15 is 45 plus another 15 is 60. Perfect. So now I have broken it up into one, two, three, four parts. And so we now can partition the, this number line also above on the percentage portion, on the percentage double number line, right? So we had the four partitions down here on the cost number line. We need to do the same on the percentage number line. So I'm gonna match them up. One two, three. And so if we broke up, now be careful, if we broke up 100% into four groups or four chunks like we did, 100 divided by four is 25. And so we are just showing our work to be thorough. So that means this would be 25% plus another 25% would be 50 plus another 25% would be 75% until we get to 100%. Perfect. So we broke up the percent line into four groups so that each group represents 25%. However, since we are looking at the percentage that the price decreased, 
we want to know by what percentage did it decrease by. And so I see that it went from 100 to 75. So let's take away 75 from 100 and see what percentage that change decreased by. And sure enough, this is 25%, a 25% reduction. So if we go ahead and look at the answer choice, I see that it's G, the answer choice is right here. But what if we were looking at letter choice F? Well, it says that $15 is the amount of change. So students may think that this is the percent change and choose that answer incorrectly. If a student chose letter H, then they see that 75% matches with the $45, right? It matches here evenly. But that's not what the question wants. It doesn't want to know the percentage that 45 is out of $60. So that is another incorrect mistake that we may choose if we're not being very careful. And then 40% is just a random distractor answer. So keep in mind that when we are looking for the percentage of reduction, we need to know the change, right? Not the amount it changes to, but the change. So we're going to go ahead and practice some more independently.